What happened that day is he was uh, driving with his uh, wife. They had traveled from Carbondale where they're uh, living to St. Louis. I'm not sure if it was a visit. And uh, while they were driving around, he swerved to one side and, and had a traffic accident. He, I guess he had the stroke, plowed through the intersection and crashed into a parking lot. And I guess it's a barrier. Yeah, I, I get stuck with the bumps in the floor. If you know, I probably keep driving. And uh, after the dust had settled, uh, the emergency uh, personnel arrived and they realized that he wasn't moving his left side and he was slurring his speech and he was uh, not doing well. And they brought him very rapidly to the hospital. And we gave him our normal medication, which is tissue plasminogen activator, to try and dissolve that clot. Unfortunately, it really didn't uh, dissolve the clot on its own and we were able to rapidly take him over to the interventional uh, suite and do a minimally invasive surgical procedure to remove that clot from the artery and restore blood flow to uh, the uh, right side of his brain that was affected. And luckily it was quick and there were no problems and by the next day he had already started to improve. His neurological function was returning rapidly on the left side and uh, within two days he was near normal and was able to go home. So. Everybody was asking me how he was, and I kept, I kept felt silly repeating it, that he is pretty much back to normal. I think when I say it, they dismiss it like I'm just diminishing that he's okay, but he really is. I, you know, as serious as a stroke is, you wouldn't know it from looking, talking to my dad that this, this thing did happen to him. I think the combination of rapid presentation to the hospital, you know, I think obviously we don't like to get in traffic accidents, but in his case, it was fortuitous because he got to attention very quickly and came to us very quickly. And having the artery opened with this device allowed him to have the excellent outcome that he did. If everybody arrived, you know, within an hour and got the artery open within an hour and a half or two hours, uh, we'd see these outcomes more often. Unfortunately, that is not usually the case. People take a little longer to get to the hospital uh, than that, but uh, hopefully over time as people uh, understand the options and how time limited they are, um, we'll get better and better uh, times to the hospital. Um, I had the opportunity to see another neurologist, neurologist in Carbondale, and he, he told me, you're lucky. He, he do all the tests on me, he said, you're fine, I don't see anything really wrong. Hey, you've been lucky, that's what he says. And probably I've been mean lucky to have you guys over here in the right place. Well, I mean, it certainly is, is gratifying to see a man like that who is uh, a very high-functioning person, uh, prior uh, businessman and a family man, could at this point be uh, disabled or maybe even deceased, uh, have such a, uh, a dramatic improvement and, and see him back to his family and back to high levels of functioning is, is a great feeling.